A little over a year ago, our oldest son switched to a keto diet, which was great because the recipes were delicious and the things that we were eating were fantastic, but it also meant giving up some old favorites like pasta until today. Today we're going to make mozzarella pasta noodles. For today's recipe, you'll need two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, two egg yolks, parchment paper, a rolling pin or heavy duty pastry bag, and something to cut your pasta with, like a pizza cutter or a pastry cutter. Today I'm using two cups of pre-packaged mozzarella cheese and this is super simple. I'm just gonna open it up, put it in a microwave safe bowl, and I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for about 45 seconds and let it melt. I have covered my cutting board with parchment paper. It will keep this pasta dough from sticking. I have my melted mozzarella cheese and you just wanna make sure that it's nice and gooey. You want everything melted and nice and warm. And I'm just going to add in my two egg yolks. I'm just gonna mix this until they're well combined. At this point, you're gonna shape your pasta and you can make spaghetti using an icing bag with a round tip, but you need to have a very heavy duty bag because this is thick, although it is nice and warm and it will split your bag. But for today, I'm gonna to be making bow tie pasta and fettuccine. So I'm just going to put my dough in between two pieces of parchment paper and I'm gonna use my rolling pin and I'm gonna roll it out into a big, even rectangle. Now you want to roll it out nice and thin, but you want to make sure that you're not leaving holes in the middle of your pasta. So just go ahead and roll. If you have an area that's higher or has more dough in it, just rearrange it a little bit. This dough is very forgiving. So I mean, you can actually pinch pieces off and move them around so that you can have a nice, more even sheet of dough. Now I am making two different shapes of pasta today, fettuccine and bow tie. Either way, I'm gonna take the top piece of parchment off and I'm gonna use my pizza cutter or a dough cutter and I'm just going to cut thin strips. Now I'm doing this by hand, so mine are not even, that's A-OK. -okay. Now to make fettuccine, I'm just gonna cut the straight strips and I will be done. I'll be ready to let these dry in the refrigerator overnight. To make bow tie, I'm just gonna take the dough and turn it sideways and cut it into smaller rectangles. And then I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna pinch the middle of those rectangles together to form my bow ties. And once that's done, these are ready to refrigerate and dry overnight. Now you are gonna put these uncovered in the refrigerator overnight, leaving them for two days is perfectly fine, but that's gonna allow them to dry so that they cook up really nice for you. These have dried overnight, and as you notice, they are much more firm, and you're able to lift them off the parchment paper, and these are ready to cook. Now, you're gonna drop this pasta into boiling salty water for 25 seconds, that's it. And then immediately take them out and rinse them with cold water. After all, these are made out of cheese. We want them to still be noodles and not mushy. The first time I made this recipe, I was absolutely flabbergasted that cheese could actually behave like real pasta noodles, but they do. Now this does not make huge serving sizes, so if your family likes a lot of noodles, simply double the recipe. Now today I made two complete recipes, one for bow tie and one for fettuccine. Now these pasta noodles stand up really well under sauce, whether it's an Italian sauce or even with something like stroganoff. But you'll find that having these cheese noodles makes the dish even more decadent. And it's very delicious. You will not miss the flour pasta at all. I combine this with my homemade pasta sauce and my son who's on a keto diet can now enjoy pasta again. I hope you have enjoyed today's recipe, and if you would like them to continue, be sure to like, comment, and share. Thanks, guys.